Oh, yeah. Yeah, we need to talk. Roe versus Wade. They threw that out. Y'all tripping big time. Hey, cue the theme music. So last week, the Supreme Court overturned, got rid of, gave the boot to the 1973 ruling of Roe v. Wade, which says that women have the constitutional right to abort, basically, right? The short version. Roe v. Wade protected women who wanted to get an abortion due to whatever reason that they wanted. That right was protected under the 14th Amendment. That was until someone decided that it should be illegal for women to decide upon themselves if they should get an abortion or not. It's your right to get pregnant, but it's my right to make you keep it. I'm gonna tell y'all the truth. I think all the senators sound like that. I think they all sound just like that. Even Clarence Thomas, no, you know who he sound like? He sound like Uncle Ruckus. It's all because of good President Mr. Donald Trump, Mr. President good Donald Trump. So with this overturning of Roe v. Wade, I have something to ask. I have, I have questions, I have, I have questions. If God gives us free will, who are those old white men, those old white women, and that one random old black guy to tell us what we should do with our bodies? Because apparently they know what's best, being that they are old, old. Uh, and did I say old? You're so old. But that isn't the biggest thing for me. The biggest thing is this fake facade of care that they put on. Whoa, Fletch, what do you mean? They care so much about preserving life. That is, unless it involves a gun. Just Google mass shootings in the United States and you will be astonished what you pull up on the first page. Those old white men, white women, and that one random old black guy don't care about preserving life. Now what they really care about is pocket preservation. If the senators, judges, and government really cared about life, they would make sure that they put laws in place to ensure proper gun purchases. I'll take it. Within minutes, the 13-year-old easily and legally bought a 22 caliber rifle from a private seller and walked away with it. Over 30 people were assassinated in a 10-day span, and the senators didn't say anything, but we're praying for you guys. Don't pray. Don't pray at all. Make some changes. That's what you can do. Pray and form. Did you really pray? Did you really stop and say a prayer? Or did you just type that on Twitter and go play golf? Huh. You know what it is though? The NRA doesn't pay them to care about making sure that gun laws are safe. They pay them to shut their mouths. It's pay to play. That's how the government is. That's how the government's run. Oh, you think I'm lying? The feds just made it illegal to buy jewel e-cigarettes. You can't even vape now because it's illegal. Oh, but you can buy all the cigarettes you want, but don't dare try to vape. They wanna protect the children. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't you put that EP into your mouth. Don't you vape that jewel. Don't you know how horrible that thing is for you? It will kill you. Instead, smoke these wonderful cigarettes. And while you let it, go buy a gun. Get out of here, kid. So funny. If the government really cared about children's lives, they would ban cigarettes, not Juul vape pens. If Juul vape pen would have greased the palms as much as Big Tobacco, I'm pretty sure they wouldn't be going anywhere right now. But we know Big Tobacco is deep in the pockets of the government. When I say deep, I mean deep. Who's deeper, the NRA or Big Tobacco? I actually think it's a little bit of DP action going Stop it, Fletch! Children may be watching. They didn't go buy their cigarettes and their guns already. I'm just saying. But this isn't the end, guys. I'm pretty sure those old farts in the government are gonna fill their Wheaties and now start trying to take down everything else. Black people can't vote. Gays can't get married. Women can't live. You can't breathe. 
et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. What we need to do is figure out a way to get these old geezers out of there. What? What do I know? I'm just a black guy with a peace sign on his chest trying to be an advocate for people. All right, guys. So, do you guys think abortions should be illegal? Should they be legal? Should should they should should a woman have the right to do what she wants with her body without the government telling her what she should do? Let me know in the comment section where down below. Like, share, subscribe. When you get done doing that, I need you to hit that notification button over there. It lets you know when we post more on the channel. Ooh, I can't wait to see what some people say on this video. But until then, guys, y'all know what it is. Be good, be cool, and be fixed. Peace! But there's another reason why. White people will become the minority. But that's a whole different topic. Let me know what you think down in the comment section where? Down below.